All right, let's go over crude oil. We have two types of trades here, guys and gals, two types of trades. We have retracement trades, and we have momentum trades. All right? We can time our trades on any market based upon our trend chart. So let's go back to our trend chart. Our trend chart is right here. This is our trend chart. That's our trend chart. So in our trend chart, we know the best way to trade any market is to catch the wrongly positioned traders. That's what we want to do. We want to be opposite of retail. We want to go with the top algorithms. We want to go with the top high-frequency traders. How do we do it? How can we get in when retail is getting out, vice versa? Do the opposite of retail. We want to do the opposite of what the public does. We want to get opposite of the counter trend traders. The best way to do it is look at our trend chart. Our trend chart is very simply, I have a trend filter built into this Rinka bar. This is not a minute chart, like I said. It's not a share chart, range chart. It's not a tick chart. This is a Rinko bar. This is not your standard Rinko. When we get buy signals off our Rinko, typically your standard Rinko will get sell signals. Typically totally opposite. I have a trend filter built in. So there's two types of trades that we're going to do then. We're going to look for a retracement trade, which I'll show you how to time the trade. Or I'm going to do a momentum trade. This is today's action. We've had a couple trades here this morning. I'll show you how this works to the exact bar. I'm going to show you the exact bar, where to pull the trigger, how to place your stop. If I see that these moving averages are on here, uh, we, have the, we have the templates already built in. Moving averages, everybody knows, I think they're worthless. Can't use them only for trend direction. So they're great for trend direction. So, so what I like to do, if I'm below all three moving averages or, or across down, I want to see when an opposite color green candle comes in. When these green candles come in against the trend filter, you have what's called a retracement trade. That is a retracement trade on our trend filter. We're looking for the market to retrace, to catch all these wrong, wrongly positioned counter trend traders. Catching the wrongly positioned traders, which are the counter trend traders. When I was in Las Vegas, I was a guest speaker. And of all the traders, five, 6,000 traders were out there. I've got to tell you, almost all the traders I talk to are counter trend traders. And that's why they continue to position themselves wrongly in the market. You cannot try to catch a falling knife. and You cannot run in front of a runaway train. What we do is we sell low, buy lower. We buy high, sell higher. If you don't understand that, then you're totally on the opposite side of the market. There's no buy low, sell high in these markets. You better establish a higher low or lower high to get your trades in the correct position. So what we want to do, these are retracement trades, catching the wrongly positioned traders. These are counter trend traders. So when I see green reversal bars coming in, I know I'm catching the wrongly positioned traders. What I want to try to do is I want to try to time this top. I'm going to show you how to time it. My system called the exact bar to the top right there. I'm going to show you how we do it. Then what we want to do is we want to catch the momentum trades. What if we never get any green bar reversals? I mean green bars, meaning the counter trend traders. What if we never get them? And the market is just red, 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 all the way down. Meaning the algorithms, high frequency traders, they keep marking the market down. They will not let it retrace. Well, I'm going to show you how this bar right there and this bar are momentum trades. And my arrows fired exactly right here to the exact bar. These are our last two trades that just happened. How do we get this exact highs right there and how do you position yourself? These are called momentum trades. Momentum trades are not retracement trades because they're shallow retracements. These only happen, momentum trades only happen when you do not have an opposite color bar that comes in. Retracement trades only happen when you get an opposite color Rinko bar that comes in because you know you're catching the wrongly positioned counter trend traders. So that's the two trades we, we got to work with every day. And it's been working that way for 30 plus years in the market.
as long as I've been looking at this stuff. So you got a retracement trade, you got a momentum trade. What I did then is I built this trend filter to catch both of them. I know when they mark the market down and they do shallow retracements, they just keep marking it down and they don't allow you to get in if you do not know how to trade momentum. Vice versa, when they have an opposite color bar that comes in on a retracement trade, this is where you get all the counter trend traders right here. This is where you get all the counter trend traders caught. All right, so now that we know that, how do we get in? How do we position ourselves to get in? What we do is I have the trend filter on the, my templates right here. You can clearly see made it nice and big for you guys and gals. Get this stuff off. Let's concentrate on our last setups here, these momentum setups. You can clearly see that we're in a downtrend. Below all three MAs, all red. How can you position yourself to get short on these momentum? Now, before I show you that, I do have market profile over here to the left. We use that as confluence. It's a really great guide. We use that as confluence on our trades. Simply break, retest, break, retest of the 50 right there. It's the same time we got a sell setup off of my momentum setup. That was a sell market profile. That was resistance. That was a break, retest too. So market profile has been working since 1985. I got volume, price, and developing on here, and it's just saying, hey, southbound on the Greyhound, break retest, market profile by itself set a short here, and market profile by itself set a short here. We don't, use, we don't need to use market profile all by itself. We can use that as confluence. So that's why that chart's over there. We use it for confluence. We can just use our trend filter by itself and our Fibonacci arrows to know exactly when to pull the trigger. How, here's how we're going to do it. I know that my trend filter was down. We are in a downtrend. Red, 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 red. I got two trades I look for. I look for a green reversal bar catching the wrongly position traders. Or I look for a retracement to my smaller MA here and try to get a momentum set up. If you get a momentum set up, you will be below all three MAs. Your open versus close on the body of this candle will not close above the smaller MA. That's the cool thing about the trend filter, and that's the difference between trading a minute chart and a Rinko bar. Minute charts will close back inside, have the deception, they're going up, and they just take your feet out and get crashed down. Minute charts are absolutely worthless. You cannot trade off of them if you want to trade these fast-moving markets. If you look at this bar, why was that a setup? Let's go to, once I know, I have either a red green reversal bar against a trend filter or I'm all red. The best way to find a momentum trade on these last two cells is look, look at this. The wicks do not count in the market. I don't care what anybody tells you, the highs and lows do not count in the market. Everything is the open versus close. The open versus close is the body of the candle. If the body of the candle, if I get that away from my smaller MA right here and I got space, from the smaller MA open versus close, and it closes away from my smaller MA. See how that space is? Space, 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 space. You better be looking for a momentum snapback. You better be watching over here, which I'm going to show you how to do it, for a break retest trade because it's coming. Because what's happening is you got the algorithms marking the market down big time, and you're away from all MAs, and you're looking for a big trade. So how do we time it? What I do is what I do is I'll go over to my symmetry chart. Symmetry dots is something that we use. They're worthless all by themselves, but they're great with trend direction. So what I want to do is I want to look for either a retracement trade or a momentum trade. These last two were momentum cells. What's the difference in the trade? This is actually a momentum trade and a retracement trade together. Both of these were together. What's the difference? The difference is my retracement trades had the opposite color bar that came in on my trend filter. So we know selling these highs, when the arrows came up, these are all the arrows. These do not repaint. The one frustrating thing that I had in the early 1990s, I bought a lot of programs, 
spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. One program, I know one program I spent five grand on, is just absolutely worthless because it was an exhaustion indicator. And what it did is after the fact, it looked great on back testing. But when I live tested it, it erased every time it took out the lower high. I programmed for traders not to go through that headache because it will drive you nuts seeing repainting indicators. None of these arrows will repaint. What you see actually happened live in the market today to the exact bar. So what retracement trades, what I want to do and how I want to time the trade is I want to see a green bar reversal. I mean, green bars come in on my trend filter, opposite of red, if it's against the moving averages. When I come within two ticks of these red bars, red bars, red bars, red bars, red bars, I got a red bar down here. I got a potential setup on any given market. So when it came within two ticks right there, it told me when the arrow fires to get short. When the arrow fires, you can put your stop. You can enter the trade. Stop loss two ticks above that swing high. You do not need to risk more than two ticks on this system, period. You risk more than two ticks on any given system, you're doing something wrong. It's not an accurate system. You should never have to break two ticks above the swing high. Now, I do have traders, and Stefan even brought this to my attention, which is correct. Sometimes it'll go, you need a two-tick cushion, so he's been using a three-tick cushion, which is good. You can use three ticks if you want. It will get you sometimes where it goes exactly to two ticks, and then it reverses. It happens sometimes right to the exact tick. So Stefan made a point on that if you guys want to do that. Three ticks above the swing, low or high. So that's a sell setup. I come down, another retracement trade. I had green bar reversal here this morning. Green bar reversal, counter trend traders are coming in, pump it up. I come within two ticks. It's got to come in minimum two ticks of symmetry. I get the red reversal, I mean a, a red Fibonacci arrow. Enter the, enter the trade, another trade. I come down, red again. On retracement trades, when you're selling, you want to look at the red symmetry dots. Another sell signal. I come down. This arrow is not within two ticks of symmetry, so you do not trade it. Not a trade. It was not a break retest because it closed above the symmetry dots. Here's another one. Comes within two ticks of symmetry. Notice how the wicks of the candle don't count. It exceeds the symmetry dots. I don't care about wicks. That's for novice traders. Novice traders looks at highs and lows. I do not. I look at the body of the candle. Body candle straddles, another sell signal. Here we go. Comes up to retracement. Within two ticks of symmetry, I get the arrow. Another one. So one, two, three, four, five. It's five for five since 3.30 this morning using my system. Now, that's retracement trading. That's retracement trading when you get an opposite color candle against the, the trend filter. You do not put this chart first. You do not trade just with symmetry dots or you'll get your butt kicked. I've got traders that's done that before and they've lost. They've been losing traders. You cannot do it because you don't know the overall trend of the market. This is a very short-term chart. It's a five sim Rinko. I use a nine sim, which is a real long term on my trend chart. Trend first, then you go into micromanage this. Now, what about the other color dots? What can I do with those? I can use those for break retest trades from momentum trades. What if I never get an opposite color bar? What if I get I never get an opposite color candle on the trend filter? What if it's red like this all the way down? What if it's red all the way down? Red, 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 red. What I can do then is I can use my other side of my symmetry dots, break retest trade. Let it break, close below my blue candles, opposite, cut, opposite the trend, retest them, and this is where I got my three sim fire to arrow short right here. I want to see an arrow fire right there on the break retest of symmetry on my shorter term Renko bar over here because I'm in a Fibonacci area right to the exact bar. That's a very small stop on this last trade, extremely small stop on this trade. Your live fill is below this bar, 41 got as low as 90, you got a $500 trade with 11 tick stop 
$110 stop. That's a five to one reward to risk. And that's what we're trying to position ourselves in the market. The next trade comes down. It's all red bars. I get a break. I get a retest. Comes within two ticks of symmetry for a momentum trade. I get an arrow that fires here on the five or three sim. And here's your last momentum trade. Now what the market's trying to do is I'm trying to do what? I'm trying to do a retracement trade. Now I'm into a retracement. Counter trend traders are coming back in. Well, if I look right here, I cannot sell symmetry, red symmetry, because why? I can't sell it if I get a red arrow because it's closing above, the body of the candle close above my red symmetry dot. So what do we do? Nothing. We're in a deeper retracement. We're see before it maintained within below my red symmetry dots. Below, below, within two ticks, two ticks. Now it closed above it. So what are we doing? We're looking for a deeper retracement. So then what you can do is you can look at market profile over here and see where your resistance is. Right now I'm looking at 48.50 as a, you got developing here at 34 and then 48. We'll see if we get a rollover at that point, but you don't use your symmetry anymore. Symmetry will guide you on break retest trades for momentum and also retracement trades. And it tells you when and when not to get in the market.